Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at quick fixes this week, and I generally think that if we've got any major holes in our game, a quick fix usually isn't the route that we want to go to, to fix a major problem. But a lot of times, just a, a small little tidbit of info, you know, that doesn't take long to process can be a, can be a big help for, for getting us through some minor issues. So today I want to look at, you know, the issue of, of hitting the ball too flat. And I think you guys understand that, that flat generally, if that's the way I'm hitting the ball, the main reason I don't like flat is my margin for error over the top of the net is very, very small. Because if I'm taking any decent pace into my forehand, hitting flat and then elevating it, I'm missing too many shots. So what's a quick fix for getting the racket going from too flat of a path to the ball to getting a little more drop and creating more spin. And to me, it's in the height of the backswing. You know, you see a lot of players that still hit flat or flatter, and the racket tends to stay lower back here because it balances out with where it's gonna end up traveling. So you'd see a lot of players go back like this, and they'll end up swinging on a very level plane right back into the ball. Pretty good recipe for a flat shot. So, to me, if I go a little bit higher with my loop, almost exaggerate the height of that loop, what tends to happen here is that equal and opposite effect, where the higher I go, the easier it is to drop the racket down underneath the height of the tennis ball. And that's really where I'm going to start shaping the ball with more height than spin, is that relationship being lower here, having to hit up into the ball more. So as I start to see this ball coming in from Mark, watch me exaggerate the height of that backswing, and you guys will see that ball start to shape with more spin. And now I've got that margin for error over the top of the net like I like. And again, what about the bounce of the ball? I think a lot of us forget that, that extra part of this shot where now the bounce of the ball is much trickier for the opponent because it's getting height and depth where a flat bounce, even if I rip it with a ton of pace, that ball tends to stay at my opponent's waist height. So I think we all understand the problem with hitting too flat too often. Once in a while, it's okay. But a quick fix, let's start to, start to really air out the height of the backswing, help get that nice drop so the relationship from here to the ball is more on the up. And that's where you guys are gonna start to find more topspin and more clearance over the top of the net to give you better margin, okay? So that's my quick fix for the day. We got a couple more coming later this week. Make sure to check those out. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You're gonna find the link to three free courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those really helpful as well. All right, so until next time, be well, and we'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lessons.